Video games used to be a magical thing. I'm not talking about Final Fantasy or any of those games that purport to use magic, I'm talking about the technology itself. You hook this box up to the television, plug in this big gray thing, and BAM! You're playing tennis right there in your living room. And not just Pong, no by gum, this thing has color. You don't even have to put cling film over the screen. Here's the problem, though. Those days are kind of past. We're all too savvy for basic verisimilitude, well executed as it may be. If you haven't noticed, this shot of Tennis, another of the NES launch titles, well, it hasn't changed. Because this is all the gameplay there is. Now, mind you, it's well executed, down to the timing of your swing, determining the ball's trajectory, and all the actual rules of Tennis are there. Heck, you've even got Mario or some Mario look-alike up there on the chair if you need a face at which to direct your John McEnroe-style rage. But, at the end of the day, it's just a game of tennis. No more, no less. You can select a difficulty, you can play singles or doubles, one or two players. And then it's just bouncing a ball over the net. We can no longer see the novelty in such an exercise unless it's got Mario and... Sega franchises bundled in. Unfortunately, however hard you squint, that opposing player back there is never gonna look like Ulala. -la. So let's do ourselves a favor and combine some of these more simplistic NES titles into one video. The only force stronger than video games during their ascension in the 70s and 80s was the pinball table, famous in story and song. Mostly just the Tommy soundtrack. Anyway, why plunk quarters into a machine where you could just buy pinball for that shiny new NES? There's all of... one table. And you can take turns with two players. At least here we have some interesting things to hit, and it makes noise. There are seals and penguins. It's like going to the zoo right here in... Alright, I can't fake it anymore. Yes, it's pinball. And it's a mere step on our way towards sensations like Kirby's Pinball Land, Metroid Pinball, the Pinball of the Dead, and that Space Pinball game that was bundled with Windows 95. Everyone, and I mean everyone, has played that while trying to look busy. I realize it takes skill and effort to truly understand a pinball table and how to milk points out of it as optimally as possible, but let's not kid ourselves. This is a mere representation of pinball. The ball itself is an illusion, a guess at best, and the physics... Well, this is an NES card after all. Some things happen in a way that would leave even Bill Nye guessing, as if the Hubble suddenly fell out of space. Still, there are plenty of things to do on the table, either lighting up this royal flush on the lower screen here, or clearing these seven targets on the left that open up a path on the right. There's a slot machine on the top screen, along with a progressive target, a ramp on the left that triggers a bonus from the seals, and... This weird Mario kind of breakout save Pauline thing. My, that's a lot of hyphens. And for only being a couple years old, Mario sure got around back in the day. Line judge, pinball accoutrement, boxing referee. Face it, no matter what the age of the game, that is the hardest working mustache in game business.